Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. So today is the finale video of Hooked on Wreaths Spring Edition. And this is a collaboration that I'm doing with my friend Lori at Lori Hooks. And I'm gonna have Lori's um, channel listed down below. And she was kind enough to create a playlist for all of the Hooked on Wreaths um, videos. So I'm gonna have that playlist linked down below. If you've not seen our first playlist, I mean, our first videos, so you can go and find them there. And so what me and Lori have done is, this is a year long project that we are doing together and we are doing a wreath for every season. Of course, the first upcoming season that we have is spring and today is spring, everybody. Happy first day of spring. Oh, okay, so I have been working on this spring wreath, this Easter wreath, from the book um, Crocheted Wreaths for the Home. I'll put a picture in here. I bought this book off of Amazon, on Amazon Kindle. And guys, I finished the wreath, and now it looks not like the picture. <laughs> um, she is... I, I'm going to say I like it, but I don't love it, I guess is the word that I'm going to use. But here's my wreath. That looked weird with my head in the middle. So I think it's supposed to hang like at an angle like this, like in the, the book. But here it is, guys. So what do you guys think about my wreath? I'll pop in a picture here of... The wreath in the book and then here is my wreath for comparison okay so this was a stash buster guys i used only crochet or yarn from my um sash here i did have to purchase some materials such as the wreath here and i bought this wreath off of amazon it's like a willow wreath and it's gray in color and um, the picture shows a white one but i thought mm, it's similar i did buy this burlap ribbon from the dollar tree and this little sprig of something i got this from hobby lobby and it was on sale it was like 50 percent off so it was like four bucks for a whole big sprig i got like a ton of it left over there so that's like quite different, but I couldn't find any of the the cottony stuff. So, but I thought that looked springy. So the yarn that I used was Paintbox Cotton DK in a variety of colors. So one of the things that I think that I did not like was the color I chose for the leaves which is this dark green, and I think it's called racing green. I think it was too dark, but I was very limited on the colors of green that I had available to me, and that was the best choice that I could go with. So, I made 26 of these wreaths. I think that Sue might have asked me that, and I think I forgot to tell you, Sue, I made 26 of them and they were by far like the easiest thing to make. I made them all during one episode of Paula Zahn on the case with Paula Zahn and got them all finished. So the hardest part was just weaving in the ends to get them out of the way. So, um, yeah. Um, let's see if I can remember all of these colors. So we've got some bubblegum pink some daffodil yellow, some racing green. I believe this is spearmint. Uh, I wanna say that's a rose color. I can't remember, I'm sorry. No, this is tea rose. I don't know what that one's called. Duck egg blue, kingfisher blue, bubblegum pink, daffodil. Mm. Is that one called like something ballet? I don't know. I can't remember that pink either. Um, paper white right here. 
Um, let's see. This one is called Washed Teal. It's such a pretty color. It's probably one of my favorite colors. I think that's all of the colors that I used. So, this is my wreath for, let's see, I have the top of it marked with a little thing. Let's see, right here. So, this is how it hangs. This right here. I am going to hang it outside for at least a little bit, I think, and then bring it back inside. But just a little bit, just for a little while. So that is my wreath for Easter. Well, for spring, but it's an Easter wreath, the little bunny rabbit. I did look up, I wondered why um, we, like I know what Easter is like, um, but I wondered how the Easter bunny got associated with it because it seems like it's two very opposite things. But, um, and from what I could find, it's like a German tradition of, it wasn't like, I don't know how it evolved into the Easter Bunny, but like they left a basket and then overnight this animal bunny type thing came and left them treats in the basket. And so as everything, you know, it adapted into what we now know as the Easter Bunny. But when my niece lived with me, um, and I didn't even know that it was a thing, but I just didn't want to keep repurchasing like a new Easter basket every year. So I bought like a really nice one and I bought this like pad of fake grass looking grass that fit, it fit down right inside of the, the basket perfectly. It was a square basket. And so I would have her set the basket outside on the porch and then, like, when she went to bed, I just went and got it and, like, filled it with stuff and put it in there until she was old enough that she didn't, that she knew that it was me putting the stuff in there. But, okay, guys. So, this is my, well, my spring wreath for the spring edition of Hooked on Wreaths. Okay, guys. I want to talk about um, some wreaths that, that um, some people sent in to show off their spring wreaths that they made. So the first one is from Katie from Minnesota and she made this, let me scoot over, this a gorgeous bunny wreath here. And um, she just says she didn't have any plan, like she didn't follow a tutorial. She just had her supplies and she just started going and her creative juices were flowing. And this is what she ended up with. And it is absolutely magnificent. I just love this wreath so much. It screams spring. This Easter bunny is absolutely gorgeous. Katie, I absolutely love it. You've done a perfect job on it. And this looks like one of those wreaths that you would see in Michael's. You know how like they have those where the workers make the wreaths and then you can buy them and they're like a crazy stupid expensive katie this looks like one of those crazy stupid expensive wreaths it deserves to be like like in a museum i just love it so much it is so pretty and then the next wreath i have is from well the next two wreaths that i have are from Julia from Doodly's Crochet, aka Julia, and I will leave a link to her channel down below. But she made these two wreaths, I believe she said last year, for one for her mom and for Mother's Day, and then the other one was for her mother-in-law for Mother's Day, and these wreaths are so cute, and you know what? The first thing that I thought of when I was, um, going back and looking through my emails when I seen this wreath it reminded me of the what Cassandra and Cassandra from Craftably Ever After and Caroline for the love of crochet they are doing like a collab it's like a, a crochet mod collab where you use other things incorporate other um, crafts into your crochet crafts and Julia has done that with her wreaths here. She has incorporated other things into her craft of crochet. And I love the little flamingo. He is just so, so 
are stinking cute. You've done a fantastic job on these spring wreaths, Julia. And I can see why your mother would want you to make a wreath for her door for every month of the year. Because I totally would want you to make a wreath for me too. <laughs> so thank you guys for sharing your spring wreaths with us. Go check out Lori and see what her um, wreath looks like. I'm super excited to see what hers is all about. And I know it's going to be beautiful. And I know you guys are going to love it too. Um, because all of her colors are so vibrant and just so pretty. And they scream spring. This Her wreath is just going to be gorgeous. I just cannot wait to see it. So hop on over and check out Lori if you haven't already done that. And if you've not seen all of our other videos, please go down and check out her playlist that she has all of the videos listed in and you can catch up and see um, this wreath come to life <laughs> in two other videos. Okay guys, um, we won't be seeing each other on Hooked on Wreaths for a couple months. But come back here soon and join us again for Hooked on Wreaths Summer Edition. Can you guys believe that summer is just right around the corner? I'm saying that and today is just the first day of spring. But just in a couple of months, we will be showing you guys a new wreath for a new season. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.